Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Yeah, let us discuss about the automatic brain tumor tissue deduction based on hierarchical centroid shape described in T1 weighted MR images. Yeah, let us discuss about the abstract of the product. So, the magnetic resonance imaging is a standard modality used in medicine for brain diagnosis and treatment. So, it offers the advanced tubia in non-invasive technique that enables the analysis for brain tissues. The yearly detection of tumor in the brain leads on saving the patient life through the proper care. So due to the increasing of medical data flow, the accurate deduction of tumors in the MRI slices becomes a fast research task of a performance. So to furthermore, the tumor reduction in an image is useful not only the medical accepts but also for the other purposes like uh, segmentation and 3D uh, image reconstruction. So in the proposed work, the segmentation in medical images were more helpful for the identification of the disease portions in the images. So in the pre-processing steps is the first the process of segmentation process. So the images were filtered using the immediate filter which smoothens the overall images and makes the intensity all over the images normalized. So the clustering process is employed for the images based on the k-means process. By using the clustering concept, we're using the k-means. So here the k-means is based on the remove the skull region and then it's used to easily segment the part of the brain tumor tissue. So the thresholding is the process of employ for the segmentation of the tumorous portion in the input images. And then the next step is a level segmentation process which is employed for the segmentation of tumorous portions in the input images of the process. So finally the performance analysis of this measure based on the performance metrics like uh, true positive, false positive and true negative and false negative and also calculating the accurate precision recall of the process. So this is the abstract of the process. Yeah, let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process. So this is the overall flow diagram. In this flow diagram, is first of all, we take an input image. So input image, we will get the MRI data set. And then pre-processing step. In the pre-processing step, we are using the median filter. And then segmentation. In the segmentation step, we are using the two types of segmentation. One is the k-means clustering. Another one is the thresholding concept. And then performance measure. So in the performance measure, we are using the true party and negative, false positive and negative, and accuracy in the precision and recall. Then we will describe about the recall and then uh, we describe detail about the median filter. So the median filter is employed to smoothen the image and to filter unwanted pixel in the image. So median filter passes through the image pixel by pixel, replacing each pixel with the median neighboring pixels, thereby providing normalized intensity in the overall images. So the noise in the images were replaced by uh, the process. So and then uh, skull region captured along to the brain region in the images were different intensity and in large area. So the skull region were identify and remove the morphological operation. So the morphological operation as far as removed the cl uh, close operation. The structuring element is a small binary. So that is a small matrix of pixels, each with a value of a zero and uh, closing of an image structuring element is a dilation followed by the erosion. So the opening of an image by structuring element is an erosion followed by the dilation. So and then the clustering concept. So here the we using the clustering concept is a k-means clustering. The regions in the images then have uh, having similar intensity in the cluster using the k-means algorithm. In fuzzy clustering, every point has a degree of belonging with clusters, as in the fuzzy logic, rather than belonging completely to the just one cluster. So just points of the edge of cluster may be in the cluster to the lesser degree than the points. An overview and comparison of different fuzzy clustering algorithm is available. So any point of the images can set the coefficient and then the kth is to be calculated. So each cluster region represents regions of different intensity and also calculating the process of the calculation and then performance measure. Finally we are calculating the performance measure by using the formulas. So the performance measure can be calculated this, um, by using the like that uh, segmentation of the process. So the performance of the process is measured by measuring the accuracy of the process and the accuracy is measured by comparing with ground truth of the images. So these are the overall flow diagram of the process. Yeah, let us discuss about the running procedure for the process. So click the, click the main guide and then run. So it's take us some time to open the guide design. So this is the main guide design. So this main guide design, the process is automatic brain tumor tissue reduction based on hierarchical centroid shape descriptor in T1 weighted MR images. So first of all, click the button input images. So these are the 
databases so different type of databases are presented i will select the fifth image so and then click open so the input image should be displayed and then pre-processing step so in the pre-processing step there are two types one is a noise removal another one is a brain extraction so that it should be enabled so in the noise removal applying a median filter the pre-processed image it should be displayed and then brain extraction so in the brain extraction the skull remote region it should be displayed so this is the noise removal and brain extraction of the process and then the next process is the segmentation so in the segmentation images uh, click the button segmentation there are two types one is a k-min cluster and another one is a hcsd so hcsd is a hierarchical central chain director t1 weighted mri images so click the k-min clustering it will display four type of clusters clustering one clustering two clustering three clustering four uh, based on the base paper of the process so a uh, next figure is displayed so in this image that is an image labeled by cluster index so this is a clustering type by using the k-means clustering and then hcsd so that is a hierarchical central chain descriptor so click this so the hierarchical central chain descriptor uh, displaying the counter growing of the process so this is the process of hcsd and then the next guide design will be open so in the next guide design it will be displayed so this is the next guide design so in this next guide design the process will be displayed in the feature extraction classification and the performance estimation so in the feature extraction process we extract the features by using the glcm so this is the feature extraction so these are the feature extraction values so these all the values are feature extraction process and then classification so in the classification process which patient i mean the person or a person tumor will be reducted so uh, to identify the person name or a person number like that so click the classification process so it will be recognized the tumor image in the fifth image so it is that like uh, i will select the input image is fine so it should be classified the recognized tumor image should be fine and then finally calculating the performance estimation the performance estimation value calculated true positive true negative false positive false negative accuracy precision recall so these all the values are calculated by using the formula so finally here we display number of total pixels in the images so white pixels black pixels and the ratio and the area so ray area means it will be directed by the tumor area so these are the overall running procedure for the process thank you for listening this video